Hello everyone, welcome to On Time Cooking with Hayley Schnell. Today we are with Maestro John Dash Dixon. How are you? How are you doing? I'm doing wonderful, thank you so much for asking. That's and great. And Bernadette Brown, how are you Bernadette? I'm great, thanks Juan. Doing good. You're very welcome. Yeah, doing I got good. a special guest today. Good. Her name is Selena Bowman. How are you Selena? I'm great, how are you? Very good. Yeah. And Hayley, what are you cooking tonight? We are cooking some chicken parmesan and zoodles, which are zucchini noodles, mm. so it's kind of a healthy play on pasta. Perfect. I'm excited to see you guys yeah. cooking, and I'll be right back. Sounds good. Awesome. We'll see you. Well, I'm going to get Come started because it's been a rough Selena. few weeks finishing on time. So I'm going to go ahead and get my chicken out of the fridge. I just did a, um, a quick marinade with some lemon juice, olive oil, salt, pepper, and garlic. Really, really simple, but it's just going to give... Um, the chicken a little bit more flavor, keep it nice and juicy. And I have a breading station set up. This is going to be the key to really any kind of good breaded chicken. So I have some flour, I have some, I have three eggs that I just whisked together, and then I have a mixture of Italian seasoned breadcrumbs, uh, panko, parmesan cheese, salt, pepper, and garlic salt. So I'm going to go ahead and I have my chicken breasts that have been marinated. I sliced these um, thin and then I pounded them thin. So I want these to get really nice and crispy. So that's kind of the trick because you don't want to have a huge hunk of chicken. It's not going to cook down right. and get really nice and thin and crispy. Right. So I'm just right. going to go ahead by starting. I'm just going to do a little wash of flour, a little bit of the egg, and then right into that breadcrumb mixture. Sounds super. While you're starting on that, Haley, we're going to welcome again Selena here. We're glad welcome, you're welcome. Here. So, yeah, where did you come from? Thanks where did you? Invitation. Good. Well, Vaughn and I are working together on the um, Tarpon Arts One Act Play Festival. He is directing a play that I'm in called Warming Up. So nice, nice. And uh, he invited me here tonight, so I'm excited to be here. I love it. So, do you do anything besides? So, you act. Yes. That's I wonderful. Yeah. This is a good place to be. This is good. <laughs> this is good. Not that we act or anything, but this is Never. good. <laughs> Never. You know that. So do you do anything else for a living? Yes. Do you work um, out? Well, it's interesting. I am a middle school teacher, so oh. I say Bless well, your heart. I'm yes. acting every yes. day because I suspend disbelief by convincing seventh graders that, yes, they will need algebra every day. In oh, life, my so. gosh. Good old algebra. <laughs> So, especially in cooking, right? So it takes a See? lot of acting to convince them. Oh that. my <laughs> gosh, that's right. There's your acting came in. That's I it. love that. We're so glad you're here. Thank you. Thank you for coming. I hope you enjoy the cooking. You like and to cook? I do. I love to cook. I love Super. to cook. And I can Super. see I'm going to learn some things tonight already. It's good. And it smells so good it in does. here. Oh, it smells so good. Well, we're just going to enjoy, Haley, you share some things with us that you're doing right now. I am just breading this chicken and setting it aside. So again, I'm just doing the same thing, the flour, the egg, and then the breadcrumbs. And there seems like there's a lot of chicken breasts in here, but just because I cut them down so much. Right. But um, I do have that olive oil. It's not as hot as I wanted it, so I just turned up the heat a little bit. Okay. But I'm just going to continue just getting this breading on the chicken. Um, once we get it in the pan, it's going to cook down pretty fast, but... So, have you ever made chicken parmesan? Um, I haven't, actually. That's something I say to order when I go to... Oh, the there house. you go. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> but after tonight, I can see that I'll be making it. There you she go. She makes it look so easy. This is what it, we it's have. It's the setup. Once you're organized in the setup, it's like a lot easier than if you're kind of throwing everything together. That's when stuff starts to get like messy and right. complicated. Oh, yeah, exactly. All right, let's yeah. add some more eggs. Usually while we're doing this too, we usually have some nice little fun facts about any of the food that Haley might be cooking. And one of the most interesting facts, and you and I were chatting a little bit about it before we went on, was that um, chicken parmesan actually doesn't have parmesan cheese with it. I know, I never thought about that, I know, it, it actually right? doesn't. No, but we're going to kind of tuck a little bit in the breadcrumbs, I think. Haley I did, left. yeah. That's kind of, I guess, the more Americanized version yes. of it, is that I did uh, add some parmesan to the crust, but that's kind of what makes it really crispy and delicious. I agree. Um, a couple weeks ago, I did that parmesan crusted snapper. Yes, that was and so that good. Was so, it, and it, I think that really makes a huge difference. It makes in making a that giant crisp. difference. It sure I does. I just need a couple more eggs because that little egg mixture kind of wore out. 
All right, I'm just, this pan is not getting hot fast enough. All right. So now you can meet where we all get this really good music while I we're know, doing I've is seen it. our maestro it. here, John Dash Dixon. He gets He's the music he's all the time. Going. Yeah. I think we should take live requests for music. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> That'd be fun. That would be really fun, wouldn't it? Yeah. All right. Okay. So, did your mom cook chicken parmesan since you're Italian? Um, actually, very differently than how everyone else knows it here because it was strictly from Italy. So, it was made very differently, yeah. How was it made? How was it, like, how did it differ? Uh, well, the breadcrumbs, uh, it, it, this was totally done by um, day-old Italian um, hard crusted bread, bread right, that, right. that's how they made the breadcrumbs, right. it was strictly by that. So it was all done by hand, first of all, and it was baked all okay. the time. Okay. Mm -hmm. It was always baked, and it was the good old pasta, and it was always homemade pasta with it, but nothing else was with it. It was plain and simple with Italian sauce, Just, and yeah. that's it, it was plain and simple. There was nothing much to it, which Italians are used to doing. Right, right, There's not right. a whole lot going on except fresh herbs, you know? Makes yeah. it really good. Hi, Jenny. Hi, that's my mom. That's, that's Haley's mom. She's loyal. <laughs> I think that's all of our moms right oh, now. That's awesome. <laughs> She's always here. She's a very loyal mother. She sure is. Yes. She's really good. So, Haley, we're at 26 minutes right all now. Right. So awesome. I've got my first batch gonna, frying up. Yeah. So what I like to do is I like to shallow fry this. So I add a little bit of olive oil to the pan. And I'm going to go ahead and get that really nice and crispy. I'm going to pop it in the oven afterwards. So it just really absorbs all the flavoring. Yeah. And like I said, I want it to be, I like my chicken crispy. There's nothing more than like a soggy breading. Absolutely. And um, I'm going to be adding the sauce and the cheese in the oven so it gets all nice and melty. Oh, okay. So That's it's kind of a super. double bake, double cooked, I guess you could say. Because it's not double fried. It's right, just right. shallow fried and then baked. <laughs> which keeps it a little Twice bit baked. healthier. Twice yeah. Baked. Than if you were going to double fry something. Like my double fried french fries. There you go. Oh, those, those are, are so dangerous. Good. Oh, yeah, they're real dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> so they're I'm just making a big dangerous. batch because we are cooking for a crew tonight. So that's why I've just got so many of these bad boys. So, what is the purpose, Haley, in putting it like you put it in an egg? So, After the flour is going to kind of absorb the moisture and kind of give it that starchiness that's going to make yeah. everything stick together. The egg is going to be that binding, mm -hmm. so it's going to make the flour get kind of sticky. And Got then it. when you dip it into the bread um, crumbs, that's actually going to be what holds it together. If that's you just right. do you know, breadcrumbs on chicken, it's, it's going to fall off. You need right. something to kind of get sticky and bind it, it together. Yeah. Right, and right. this is, I mean, you can yeah. use, this is just the basic thing for any kind mm -hmm. of breaded yeah. And those are seasoned breadcrumbs. Too. Yep, exactly. So I do Italian okay. season and a mixture of panko because I like the texture of panko a little bit more. It gets it really nice and crispy. Yep, yep, yep. I do too. Panko does make it crispy. Just it doesn't compare when you do it with, and the mixture just gives it that nice flavor though because it does. panko can, can kind of have more of like a bland flavor. It gets really crunchy but can tend to be a little bit bland. It does, but they give you that crispiness, so you can always add right. fresh herbs. So that's why I like to mm -hmm. kind of make my own mixture. Already, yeah. you wait. Yeah. You wait. This is like the hardest time when it smells so good. I can smell it already. It oh. smells good. I got wonderful. all that all sticking on my hand, so I know that that breading is definitely going to stick on that oh, chicken. Yeah. <laughs> well, we have Gianna, and oh, she's from Arkansas. Hello, Gianna. Hello, welcome, Mom. Thank you. She loves the show. Thank oh. you. We love the so fact sweet. that you're with. Gianna. All right, I'm gonna give Love to hear that. A little look to this. All right, so this is getting nice and golden. My first. Oh, that's great. Fantastic. I just want to look at this, and this just needs a little bit longer. So we're just gonna give this about another minute or two, and then we're gonna get this second batch started. But I'm gonna kind of just place this to the side and clean this up so we can oh, kind of get started so oh with our God. zucchini yeah. noodles. Already, right? Mm, now, so I good. love pasta, but it's not always calorie friendly. And, <laughs> right. I know a lot of people are, you know, getting more and more health conscious. More people mm -hmm. are going gluten free, right. um, low carb diet. So I'm going to show you something oh, that yes. is a great alternative. Yeah. And I use this all the time during the okay. week, especially. So this is a spiralizer. 
And we're gonna make zucchini noodles tonight. Nice. This is like $20 off of Amazon. I'm pretty sure I asked for it for Christmas and that wasn't my Christmas oh, present. That was your Christmas present. No, that's from my cook. mom. That's a book. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, no. What I asked for Christmas is an air fryer, a spiralizer, oh and a new knife. Gosh, from my mom. And my mom got me them, so. It's way easy. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like this is how you know you're growing up and you're like 25. Yeah. And you, you want cooking utensils. You want cooking utensils and stuff for oh, your I apartment. <laughs> I love it. That's so great. It's I so love funny it. though. Like you look at like what you you ask for each year for like birthdays, and it just changes every year. And it's like you just start asking for things that you never I thought know. you would want. Like, <laughs> oh, that is too funny. My mom can verify that. But definitely, if you're watching, let us know what you think so far. Have you tried zucchini noodles? Do you have a spiralizer at home? Oh, that's so great. And you can do so many fun things with the spiralizer. You know, that's just it. You can. Right. Potatoes. And, right. You, know, you can do onions, nice. coat them Absolutely. in the batter, and do like shoestring onions. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, oh. Well, you're getting ideas. Right. That in combination with the air fryer, we can put that together. Yes. Oh, look out. Look the air fryer is awesome. You can kind of make something similar. It will be a little bit different in texture, but all right. So I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting the ends off That's of these. Really good. Let's see. So let's give a little okay. fun fact about eggplant. Um, usually, eggplants are lightly breaded, fried with fresh tomato sauce and Parmesan cheese, and then baked. So a lot of us know that's the way um, that we usually do it. Italian restaurant owners. They had a preference for meat over eggplant. Look at this! Isn't that neat? Oh, now can you adjust the width of that? Yeah, yeah so it yeah, comes with could, different, right? I'll show you in a second. You can oh actually just pop them up. So you can do like, so they'll be a lot thicker, but right, still like thin. Right, and right. That is I mean, it's like a fun, I feel like this is a really fun I gift. Yeah, you know, a child can even, I know. not the a little one. Remember the Play-Doh? Oh yeah. <laughs> My mom used to make homemade apple pie and used to have those and things that you cling on the thing. Yeah. Yes, yes. And that's some like old yeah, school stuff. Yeah, that's, that's scary. So <laughs> we knew what you were talking about. <laughs> Whoops, we didn't understand you. All right, I'm gonna take and then it just pops oh, off like that. that. So it takes all the seeds that's so out. Easy, right? So yeah, you just these are interchangeable, and it comes with like four different ones, so you can change the sizes. So easy. No, I'm just gonna so check easy. out that's my great. chicken. Make that sure that this is not burning. How easy, right? Yeah. Okay, we have Stephanie. Welcome, Stephanie. All right, and this is exactly how I want my chicken to look. So not super crispy, but nice and golden brown. And I'm gonna start layering this into my pan. And you can see when you pound these thin, how nice and crispy, but they get so big. So you can kind of make a little bit more out of your chicken, I feel like. I'm just gonna toss this one over, get a little bit more on that side. <laughs> Add a little bit more oil to my pan. What's so funny over there? Mom! <laughs> oh gosh, what did she say? She said Haley probably ate this a couple of times a month because everyone liked it, including her then very picky sister. <laughs> <laughs> this is very true. So, growing up, my sister was super picky and my mom was like, if you don't like what I cook, you can eat a peanut butter sandwich. There so, we go. But she was not the easiest it. child to please, I so this was That's definitely so a dish that went over well with everybody. I was never that picky of an eater, but that is and now so it's funny because my sister will eat like rabbit and crazy foods that like wow, I, I'm wow, not wow, that adventurous, right. and she, now wow, she's like I'll she try changed. anything. This wow. is yeah. exactly. Wow. All this right. would be probably really good for little ones. Oh, yes. 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 So I mean, it would be a good pasta for them to get the veggie right, in them and so right. forth. Yeah. I feel like if you had, yeah. I mean, I don't have kids, so I don't know, but I feel like you could probably trick them if you put some marinara sauce on it. And so. this, it cooks down it's so easy too. Like it cooks down so quickly. Right. All right. Let me get this second batch of chicken into my pan. It's just so cool. I love it. Comes out. It's, and it's so quick. You can do this so quickly at home, right? Yeah, the zucchini, and zucchini cooks super, super fast. And um, yeah. so once you get it in the pan, it's literally like two or three minutes. That's so good. just like fresh pasta. Definitely. Yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. a little bit less labor intensive than right. real pasta though. Oh yes, <laughs> definitely. All right. Haley, you're um, 18 minutes right now. Okay, perfect. So, yeah, so the next step, what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna get that into the oven. And then when it's like 10 minutes, I'm gonna add some marinara sauce and some cheese onto that mm. chicken. 
We've got Tyrone here and we've got um, Rainier here too. Welcome. He's hungry. <laughs> it's too bad I couldn't. He should be sitting here. He should he be really be here. hungry. Exactly. Feed everybody, you know? Exactly. I would love to do that one day, like in a big studio by all of our viewers. We're going to get there. One Anyone day. who wants to one donate day. a nice big uh, <laughs> kitchen for us to do a nice live show, we'd love it. We will take those donations. We would love it. So Haley, we're at 17 minutes here. All we're right. over 17 I'm just going to keep grinding these out. And I'm going to probably do this in two batches just because I don't want to overcrowd my pan. Mm -hmm. So once you have a big batch of these, this is like a very important step when dealing with zucchini noodles is you want to get some paper towel. And you kind of just want to wrap these all up really nice and you want to squeeze all the moisture out. Oh, if you don't okay. do this yeah. and you go to cook them, they're going to get soggy. soggy. And they're not going to have that kind of like noodle-like okay. texture. Um, if you don't do this, like I said, it's not going to be as good. Like it will still taste like zucchini, but the texture will just be a little bit more mushy. And nobody likes mushy. No. Oh. Oh, all right. See, that's such a great tip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really so I'm just going to kind of put this in a pile and just start squeezing all that moisture out. And it's not going to rip the zucchini or no. squish it down. No. You just want to really make sure that you get as much of the moisture as you can. I'm going to go ahead and give my chicken a flip. Yeah. So what do you think so far? I'm, I'm so impressed. <laughs> I'm wondering what other vegetables can you use? Spiralizer. Um, you can do. I know. <laughs> I've seen people do um, carrots. Carrots. So it's potatoes. kind of a fun one. You can do potatoes. Carrots. You can do like I said, onions. onions. Mm -hmm. um, Could you do squash? Sure. Squash. I've seen people do um, cucumbers and like put it in like a shrimp kind of. Absolutely, or like uh, a nice salad. You can exactly. make a decorative salad that way. Really like make it stand out. Mm -hmm. Flower those radishes, yeah. Yeah. Oh, so cool. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Oh, you're both hungry now. Okay, we have a hungry family over here. Oh, who else is hungry? <laughs> we have got a hungry family. That's nice to know. All right, so I'm going to start heating so up this pan for my zucchini. Almost at 15 minutes, my dear, just so you know. All right. So we all know what that means at the 15 minute mark. Have our monster chef come in <laughs> for a visit. Yeah, doing pretty good. Mm. Okay. Oh, it smells good. Okay, Bernadette. Yes. Your friends have a gift for you. Oh my gosh! Oh, this is for you. oh my gosh! Okay. Oh my gosh! Absolutely. This is so nice. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! What a gorgeous scarf! Thank you You're so welcome. much! Thank you. Yes. Oh, I'm gonna have to look at it after the show. Thank you so it's much! I appreciate right. it. Thank you so much. Sure. Hello, hello, Haley. Hello, hello. What are you cooking? I'm so cooking some nice. chicken parmesan. Yeah. What do you got, Bernadette? I got a gorgeous gift. It's a beautiful scarf. This is my Love show. It. Gift belongs to me. So <laughs> check again. What? Oh, what? It's a gorgeous scarf. You don't have a scarf anymore. What? Yes. Where did this bear come? I don't Where's know. I don't scarf? care. What? Oh my God. Look at Dash. I give it to Dash. I give it to Dash. It's Dash now. How did Dash you get now. my scarf? What? What did you? How did you? I'm offended. What? Oh Lucy, my God. Lucy, come on. I'm leaving. Maybe you can call later. That's crazy. One minute you had it and then it's gone. Done. Oh, play some good music, please. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't think you're gonna get that scarf back. No. 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 I'm not so sure you'd want it. <laughs> that was good so. on you, Dash. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Is there a hole in the bag? How did that
Thank you. Thank nice. you. That's great. Thank That's you. Awesome. That's that was. Nice. Yeah. This pan just got a little bit hot, so I just wanted to take it off. So I popped my um first batch of chicken into the oven. Okay. Would that be great yet? I mean, fat. it's 12 minutes, yeah. a little over 12 minutes. Right. The time just flies yeah, so does. fast. I mean, it's just, it's unbelievable. So just before this pan gets real smoky, I'm gonna go ahead and add <laughs> another. Who wants leftovers? I definitely think I, this is gonna be the first week that there's gonna be an excess That's of chicken. a lot of oh, chicken. You can't go wrong with chicken though, because that always tastes good the next day and the That's next right. day and the and next slice day. Slice it, put it on yep. salad. That's right. Yes. Yeah. So here's the time of the show where we're going to just ask all of our um, people that have joined in with us. We do our ratings. We oh, give okay. Haley's dish a rating from zero to five stars. Okay. I like to say three to five. Come on. Yeah, no one's right. going to get a zero. Exactly. Please. So come on. I'm trying to go for redemption. It's been it's been a rough couple weeks. Yeah. Uh, it's been a little bit rough trying to finish on time, but th that's the thing that I love about this meal. Is that yes. It's like, it really can be cooked in 30 minutes, and it's going to impress whoever you cook it for, because right. it looks like it might be a little bit labor intensive, but no, it's really not. No. It just goes to show you can make a good meal in 30 minutes. You, you really That's can. right. Exactly. So exactly. I'm just adding the excuse, I don't have time to cook. That's there you go. You do. Not anymore. And you you do so that's much. It. I mean, yeah. think about how much the ingredients for this cost. And right. How many, mm -hmm. I mean, especially if you have a big family. Right. So I like a lot of garlic. I had about two and a half cloves of fresh garlic to this pan. Yum. <laughs> that's an essential. Yes. <laughs> It's a definite essential for me. Oh my gosh, I yes. Know, I always have garlic in my house. Always, like same here. Same here. And it's healthy. Right. Oh, it's so healthy. Very healthy. All right. So I'm just going to kind of get this started. And then I'm going to pop this first bunch of zucchini. Give that a solid dry down one more time. I mean, you can see it's absorbing. Mm -hmm. Ten right. minutes. Oh my gosh. All right. So we're going to go Ten ahead minutes. and pop these. Oh, look at that. Hand. It's just like spaghetti. It really does. Doesn't it? And I love this too. You can do like Italian sausage with mm -hmm. it. Right, right. And you can put red sauce. I'm going to do pentesto on this one today. Yeah, sounds but, good. That sounds I mean, you really good. creative with it, just like you could with any pasta dish. You could do like a scampi and it would be super, super Wouldn't healthy. Wouldn't that be really good? Yes. That'd be really, really good. I know my mom used to make it with um, squash. Mm -hmm. All you do is bake it and just scrape out that. Right, right. Oh, I know. So easy. Mm -hmm. Spaghetti squash. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. So easy. Yeah, my mom used to do that one. So, should I ask my question I ask everybody? Yes, please. All my viewers, since yes. this is a little bit of downtime, yes. tell me what your sign is. <laughs> your zodiac sign. <laughs> you didn't ask our guest. You usually ask what Selena. What's your birthday? My birthday is November 1st, so I'm Ooh, Scorpio. You're Scorpio. Oh, she yeah. knows. Oh. She knows. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am. Our guest last week was a Scorpio, yes. too. Yes. You're right. You're right. Absolutely. Oh, that's so she does. Are she you knows true to exactly. Your sign? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so viewers, tell us. Yeah, what's viewers, if you want to, sign? what's your sign? Yeah, if All you right. want to. Thank so, you, Brooke and Alex. Alex, we have a five. We have a four. All righty. So thank you so much. We've got a couple ratings here. Thank you. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and let that chicken be in here for a hot so, minute. Looks I'm so go good. Ahead and just And what I want to do now is just um, drizzle some marinara oh. on top of the chicken oh, and then I'm going to oh, add that. some fresh parmesan. That looks great. Yes, it does. Alex, we're glad you're a Capricorn, by the way. Thank you for sharing. <laughs> <laughs> That's fun. Look at that. Beautiful. So now I'm going to go ahead and take my marinara sauce. Mm -hmm. And I just want to kind of, you can look really just kind of. Yeah, she's doing super. You got like a little over seven minutes, so you're still Perfect. doing great. Perfect timing. Come quick to 
Let's get this meal together. Some of that cheese is wonderful. And I'm going to take some fresh sliced mozzarella. And you can, I mean, you don't have to use parmesan. You don't have to use mozzarella. You can use your favorite kind of cheese. Right, right. Mm. You could totally do this with a different kind of sauce. Like if you wanted to make it more of like a, it wouldn't be as healthy, but you could totally do this with Alfredo. Yeah. If your kids exactly. I think a little bit more picky. Exactly. And I'm just going to put a thin layer of marinara on top of, like, just a little bit on top of this. Mm. Um, after oh, it's that's cooking, wonderful. Though. So I'm going to go ahead. And you're doing mozzarella? Yes. This which is, is fresh what you usually do. Yeah. All right. So the next, I'm going to pop this. String. When you pull it apart. Mm. Yeah. This bad boy back in the oven, and I'm going to put the broil on. That way it gets yeah. Sounds so good. good. This is when you feel bad that no one else is here that's watching. <laughs> you start to feel bad. <laughs> sorry, we're going to have to eat this all by ourselves. Oh, we're so sorry. <laughs> if anyone would, anyone lives near here and would love to be a guest on the show, just contact On Time Cooking. We'd love to have you come aboard. You can see it firsthand and have fun. Yeah. Yeah, we'd love it. All right, give these a toss over. How am I doing on time, Bernadette? You are just a little, oh, you're about six minutes right okay, now. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm, you're doing wonderful. Ooh. You're doing super as usual. All right, I'm going to add a little bit more still oil. working on the chicken, my goodness, that was a lot of chicken. Yeah, right? It really, it really, it really was. was. <laughs> it really was. Four it's like point, three pans. 4.6. Oh, you gotta make it difficult. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Aquarius, Stephanie, Aquarius, yay yes. to Aquarius. Aquarius. <laughs> I am. Dead. Thank you, Stephanie. So am I. Compadres here. That's nice. All right. I'm just doing the same thing. Four, four point six, four and a half. Put this next one. Put this next one. Go ahead. Yeah, you worked five minutes. Look how much she's done already. Amazing. Yeah. All right. You just can't say you don't have time to cook anymore. You can't. You really can't. No. You really can. And I mean, I had all some stuff prepped before, but it was really just getting stuff in bowls. Exactly. So. It's right. not a big prep right. at all. You know, and this is all fresh food. Yep. Fresh ingredients. You know, fresh Absolutely. food. Yeah. Okay. Are you getting hungry? <laughs> I don't know. Chicken. So what so I want to do in this pan is, I'm going to go ahead and add the rest of this Parmesan cheese, and I'm going to add some pesto. Five, yes. because I know how good oh, this I will be. Pesto, yeah. <laughs> so cute. Cool. That yeah. oil wanted to come right off the top of that. Yeah, careful. And then she always really makes sure how she's going to plate it because mm -hmm. Vaughn will come in. This is just some garlic. Oh, He's going to check it out. Yeah. yeah it is. Definitely. This is, sounds good. Well, we wish you luck at your play. Thank you very with much. With Vaughn. That's yes, uh, yes, tomorrow yes. night. The show opens tomorrow and runs Wonderful. through Sunday. Wonderful. So it's Thursday, Friday, and Saturday night at 7 o'clock. Okay. Some tickets are on sale, so please buy a ticket. I love it. Come see us. I there are it. 10 one-act plays. Okay. And we are Super. one called Warming Up. Warming and then Up. And on Sunday, there's a matinee at 2. I love it. That's great. And we did we did kind of fill you in a little bit about that last our last cooking show last week. So again, yes, Vaughn and our guest here, Selena, are going to be, she will be acting and Vaughn will be directing Correct. in some place in Tarpon. Tarpon right, Springs at the right. Tarpon Arts. It's at the Tarpon Arts Performing Center. Perfect. On Pine, Pine Street. Street. Yep, yep. Perfect. So and come on down. One act play. So please come out and support the arts. I love it. Thank you. All right. Thank you. So I love it. It's just getting that pesto all throughout it. It's kind of messy. Should have used a bigger pan, but you know. <laughs> it's live cooking. That's right. All right. That's right. So I just want to let this kind of just simmer down. This is pretty much good to go. I'm going to go ahead and turn down my heat. All right. See how this batch, I'm just going to do the same exact thing with this batch of chicken, but obviously I don't need to show that. So right. I'm going to go ahead and take my fresh basil now. I pulled that uh, chicken out of the oven. Okay. How long did you have it in the oven, Haley? Probably like 10 minutes. Yeah. Okay. 
you're a little over two minutes right now. And just to let everyone know, um, we do have a donate um, place on our Arm Time Cooking page. We are taking donations of all kinds. That makes sense, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> I, I have might to, need to clarify. Yeah, you know, it, it, something, yeah, I might need to clarify that. But any kind of donation, we would love to have a super large kitchen to be able to do a live cooking show and invite many guests to. We would love that. Any kind of um, any kind of donations you would like to do for our live cooking show. Keep us going, keep us around, and become a part of us. You know, we'd love it. Absolutely. Yeah, that'd be fun. All right. Oh, I smell my basil. Okay. Oh, and pick up it. some of these. You like over and give a spiral. That's right. Yes. Oh, yes. Look under That's your right. chair. Spiralator. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that would be hilarious. <laughs> the gifts I keep giving. Go home with the spiral. You can keep spiraling. <laughs> Out of control. <laughs> That looks absolutely yeah, that looks delicious. Fantastic. Go ahead. Turn, I'm just trying to heat off for both of these. Okay. And then I'm going to go garlic, ahead and just lemon. slice up some of this Perfect. basil. Perfect. Fresh absolutely. basil. Your little, about a minute and 20. Okay. I'm going to sprinkle some Wonderful. of that with a little bit of Parmesan cheese. Wonderful. Because we're going to have a taste tester come in here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we have a 4, 5, a 4.6. Yay. Take some, just a spoonful of marinara. There you go. Beautiful presentation. That's presentation, nice, right? Presentation, yes. That's good. Yeah. One of these Oh, you got 49 seconds? Yes. Yes. Take one of these beauties. Yes. Oh my gosh, that looks okay. delicious, doesn't it? Right, and, and I'm really top looks that good. With a little bit more marinara sauce. It's very, just very good. The spatula at this point. Yeah, really. <laughs> done. Done. Bam. Yeah, done. makes me so the mic. Yeah, yeah drop, drop the, the mic. Drop the spatula. You need to do that. <laughs> <laughs> you need to just go like that. I just want to go ahead and. We're at 19 seconds right now. I think that'd be super. Very fitting. Just don't drop that spiral. No. Yes, no, drop the spiral. <laughs> a little spiral bit spiral later. I think. <laughs> Like Sounds like a movie. Okay, a little bit. Doesn't it? Like a kid's movie, the spiral lady. All right. Oh, there oh, we go. All right. I'm cool. done. done. That's it. Wonderful. How's it look? It's beautiful. Looks beautiful. Look oh, at that. Beautiful. The colors, right? Balance, symmetry, yes. color. Love wow. it. Symmetry, color. Wow. <laughs> symmetry. <laughs> It is art. It is art. Very nice. So what's the boat on my boat, Bernadette? Um, it's some yeah. ratings here. Yes, what we got? So we're going to put you, we've got about three ratings here. So I'm going to give you an average of a 4.5 with the ratings that we have from 4. here. 4.5? Who's putting in no 5? We have Broke? a 4, we have a 5, we have a 4.6. 4.6. Bro? Mm -hmm. Uh... No, you can probably guess who gave us the 4.6. Who? Who? Gamma. Rainier. Who? Rainier. Rainier. Yeah. 4.6. Have a conversation, Rainier. You know, if it's not 5, it's not yeah. excellent customer service. That's, that's what right. today's demand. Presentation is 5. 5, that's great. Yes. Taste is 5. Right. Yes. I'm not sure originality, Bernadette. What do you say? Originality? I think yes. that that's good yes. on originality. Instead of, pasta, instead of pasta, instead of pasta, that's good. Absolutely. I can't forget. Instead of pasta. Okay, yes. Paula, the overall rating, including Reiner's, is 4.9. All right. All I'll right. take it. Yes. I'll take it. <laughs> and I will pay for this 19.99. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I will take that. Let's right. go egg this week. I love Plus, it. Thank Too you many. everybody for tuning in to On Time Cooking. We appreciate That's every cool. single one of you. Yes. Um, please feel free to interact with us. Let us know if you want to come be a guest. Give us a like on our Facebook, social media. Go check out our Instagram page. Check out my cooking page. <laughs> and we will see you next week. And we love suggestions. So if you see something you want me to make, let me know. And we will see you next week at Wednesday at 10 p.m. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank Bye. you. Very nice. <laughs>
たね。